Good morning, you all. Welcome back to our channel and the vlog. Happy Monday to you all, and I hope you all had a good weekend if you did anything fun or exciting. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, I did not video record any of our weekend. Sometimes Cheryl just needs a break because I need a little bit of a reset, some off time, so then I can continue entertaining you all. <laughs> so let's update you on our weekend. I have a little bit of bad allergies going on. I took my medicine, so hopefully I'm feeling better in a little bit. It's just one of those mornings. All right, so Saturday morning, Steve and I woke up. We had a lot of errands to run. We went out to lunch, and then we had a wedding to attend that evening. Um, one of Steve's coworkers got married, and it was a really elegant wedding. I will pop in some pictures here. I just took some pictures of the venue and our food. Not a whole lot, you know. Um, all of the coworkers were at one table, so I knew everybody except for two new hires. So it was nice to meet them. Really good conversation, good food. We had a lot of fun. There was a photo booth, so Steve and I dressed up for that. I gotta tell you, the props weren't that good. And the pictures, you didn't have enough time between each picture to create your new pose. So it is what it is. I still think they turned out good. A lot of fun. The bride was 45 minutes late coming down the aisle. I don't know if she was running late or nervous or what, but it was the first ever wedding that I've ever been to that the bride wasn't on time. And then, um, let's see, we were there 30 minutes before the wedding was supposed to start. So we were sitting around for a long time. And then after that, we were there for a while because, um, Everything was just moving very slow, but we had a lot of fun. It was nice to get out and socialize and have a good time together. And then yesterday, I did my first ship shopper job and it went fantastic. Um, the most part about where I was nervous was the delivery. She was really nice. They were, um, they had like four or five kids running around chaotic. She let me in. I took her groceries to the kitchen said thank you for choosing shipped for your order. She said yay, thank you for getting all these groceries for me and um, then I just walked myself out. That, that was just it, so. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna sneeze. You all don't need to see me sneeze. <laughs> oh my gosh, so yeah, it was a good experience. The next time I do this, I won't be as nervous. Um, I also have been looking at ship jobs for today. Things that are popping up are like big time grocery lists and they're like too far away, but I'm sure something will pop up today or tomorrow. And this is supposed to be part time only, so if a day comes that I don't have a job, that's okay. Maybe something will pop up later on today or tomorrow, because this is just for part time work. A few during the week and maybe a couple on the weekends if we're not busy. Now Harvey's taking his morning nap. Bella is in with Ryan. Ryan got home early from classes. Um, his second class got canceled. Teacher was sick and they couldn't find a substitute to come in. So there they are, they just came out. Ryan went into hiding, but where are you going? You gonna go get a haircut? Yeah, Ryan's gonna go drive himself to get himself a Haircut, he has a dollar off coupon. He just needs to log, log on to Great Clips and check himself in and drive over there and get himself all spruced up. So, enough jibber jabber, I need to get this day started.
FedEx just delivered a package. I put the dogs out back. So when I open up the front door here, they don't sneak out while I'm bringing in a box, huh? Oh, yay. Brandless. Oh, I'm so excited. I ordered this last week. Let's open up this box and see what I got. Woohoo! You've gone brandless. Open me up. This is probably coupons and stuff. All right, let's see all the goodies that I ordered. Next time I'm gonna order more stuff. I had received a $5 off coupon last week, so I'm like, hey, I'm gonna give it a try. All right, olive oil, sea salted popcorn. Delicious. I know it's already delicious because I've seen lots of people not complain about any of these brandless products. Yellow corn tortilla chips. Mmm. Yummy. And some white cheddar popcorn. Ooh, Steve really likes white cheddar popcorn. So he's looking forward to trying that. Couple more items. Double chocolate cookie thins. Uh, I'm getting hungry, you guys. It's almost lunchtime. Chocolate chip cookie thins. And that's all that I got. Next time, I'm going to order some other things. There's some salsa that I want to order. Um, there's some kitchen gadgets and towels that I want to order and just some other snacks. That's everything in my brand list box. In the upcoming vlogs, um, We'll be letting you know how stuff tastes. What did you bring home, Ryan? Is this all just for you? Yes. Oh my gosh. We have a Dr. Pepper. Yep. And a chocolate sundae. Wrong. Um, you won't believe it. It's, it's, it's a limited time thing, so. I don't know. It's Oreo? Yes. It's an oil hot cocoa blizzard. Mmm. Limited time, so. Nice I'm going to have a bite of that. Just a little bite. Oh, you know. And then a chicken finger strip basket. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yummy. I might have some fries too. All right, let's taste test this before Ryan gets into it. Let me get a different spoon here. All right, because that's kind of stuck in there. Ooh, yummy. Mmm. Wow, that's good. This is mine. I'm going to need. Yeah, yeah, about that. <laughs> All right, you guys. I am going to taste test this Cran Raspberry LaCroix drink. Um, it's just sparkling water and it's flavored. Some of you have tried this brand before, maybe different flavors, um, didn't like it, and some of you liked it. So I'm gonna crack this can open and give it a taste test. Mmm. Ah. Yeah, I like it. Oh yeah, these are good. I'm interested in trying some other flavors. Yeah, three drinks and I'll drink the whole can. I like them. This is really good. I'm very light in the Cran raspberry flavor. It's more of the sparkling water and just a uh, hint of cran raspberry in it. I like it. Harvey knows what time it is. It's time for dinner, isn't it, Harvey? He was just napping. Bella was in my spot napping, and then I started stirring around. They're wondering what's going on, but Harvey never misses a meal. I just got off the phone with Steve. He's on his way home, yay, we can have dinner together, because that doesn't happen every night. I need to eat dinner by six o'clock. I just get hungry, it's hard for me to wait later than that. Um, plus, if I don't eat, my body starts to feel not good and I start to feel sick. Let me know if that happens to you. I have to have something to eat every couple of hours or I start to not feel good. So. I'm gonna finish prepping dinner. Um, I just cooked up the cornbread muffins a little while ago, so those have been cooling off. I'm gonna make some brown gravy, potatoes, and the roast in the crock pot is done. I just need to take that out, let it rest for about 10 minutes, and then I can chop it up and 
We can have dinner in just about, I would say, 12 minutes and Steve will be home. Puppy dogs never miss out on a dinner, right? Especially you, Harvey. You're always front row center. Always. Welcome home, honey. Yay, you get to have dinner with us. Yay, it's a first in a long time. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Workaholic. I wish I wasn't. I know. All right, dinner's served. Here's Steve's plate. Ooh, and a Dos Equis. Here's mine. And I have a Zima. Finished with dinner. Took a little 20 minute break on the couch. Yeah. Let our food settle a little bit. Now we're gonna go for a walk. We'll see what the sunset looks like. Yeah. The sunset, right over there, beautiful. Yeah, it is nice. Very pretty. Almost home, and look at the sunset. That is just so beautiful. Snacky time. We're gonna do a taste test on the white cheddar popcorn, brandless. This is all new to Steve and me. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> all right, open it up. Take a nice good woof. So like, is this like a subscription kind of thing? No, you just order when you want to. Smells good. Yeah. All right. Grab a bite. See how it compares to the other brands in the store. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. Needs a little bit more cheddar in it. Yeah, smart. I think it's smart. Food or Smart Pop, or I can't remember the name of the brand. It's better, but it's good. Yeah, this bag was only a buck fifty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it needs a little bit more white cheddar, but it's good. It's not bad. Yeah. For the price. Mm. Yeah. We're gonna finish this off. Okay. <laughs> Watch some TV. Make a drink. Make a drink. <laughs> All right, you guys. I give it a thumbs up, though. I think it's good. I get it again for a buck fifty. Yeah. Try some other snacks the next time I order, and we have more in the pantry. We're gonna be trying soon as well. Awesome. Yeah. All right. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Leave a comment down below. If you're not subscribed, press that red button. I had a kernel in my throat. <laughs> oh, be careful. And we'll see you all in our next video. Bye. See you next time. A little bit of bonus footage here. Ready, Harvey? You want a little bite? Oh yeah, tasty. You ready, Bella? Oh no, you lost it. What happened? Oh, Harvey got two bites. Look at that, let's see who gets it. Oh, good job, Bella. You guys like? You give it a thumbs up, right? Now they're looking for more.